And now we're gonna go to a ghost level. Hi, Boo. You look really weird in this game. Uh, one of the few instances of enemies in the main, like the, in Peach's castle. Go on a ghost hunt. Come in, come on in. Hey, 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 hey. And. Actually, no. That, yeah, let's go. Let's just do this first, because I don't think we can actually do uh, the merry-go-round just yet. And also, yeah, you didn't see it, but that piano can come to life. And it's booped a lot of people. I don't remember if I would... I don't remember how if it spooked me. Uh, that much, but yeah. Basically, what you want to do is just go through all these little areas and just kill all the boos, and then you'll find a big one. It's pretty much it. But the after this level, you can have the whole place opened opened up to you, so you can explore more. It's not always going to be like this. So don't don't fall either, because like, you're going to have to do a lot of... You're going to have to go back up a lot. A long, long way. That was that terrible grammar, but... Yeah, just don't fall. <laughs> there we go. And now... Massive boo. It's not necessarily King Boo, but even still, he's going down, son. <laughs> Yay. Already over one third of the way through. One third. Actually, no, no, no. That's forty. My bad. <laughs> I can count. I can math. I mean, if we need forty, then we'd be one third of the way through. Okay, there. We, here it is. The merry-go-round. So what I'm gonna actually do, just to do some, be quick about this. Let's go to this one and just fall down. Yeah, and this is a completely different area. I don't know how it's, it connects to the mansion, but yeah, you can just fall down here. You go to a separate house entirely. Like I don't know, don't get how that works, but hey. Just keep killing these boos. And eventually, the giant boo will appear again. He wants us to revenge. I'm gonna have to be fighting this guy like another one other time as well. Just doesn't give up. I mean you take the ghosts out and then you just they just come back. Just ask Luigi. He has to put up with that stuff all the time. Even though he's only had two games with it. How are you doing? Owned. Uh, trying to remember, remember now. Yeah, there's one up there. exactly do I want to do? Because uh, I try to remember like all the stuff there is. No, that's nothing. That's nothing exciting. 
Why'd you even have that there? Alright, fine, I'll just do this. Okay. Ah. I don't know how that can hit me, but... Yay! There we go. Here we go. I'm not even gonna bother trying to do that again. Super at the haunted books. Yeah, at this point, for this level, I'm probably just gonna mainly stick to the levels that it's listing me for. Hi. Just showing up on my screen like, hi there. How's it going, everyone? I'm Random Boo. Just Random Boo. Okay, I'm gonna go up to where the big boo is and get that out of the way, because that's kind of tricky to do. So, is it this? No, it's not this one. Here we go. Alright. So what we're gonna do is get up here. Oh, <laughs> I like how they have a little picture of a shy boo there. And actually looks more close to how they look now. I, I get I get that it's limitations, but they just look really weird in this game. It's kind of funny though. And yeah, we have to get up there in this. Not exactly the easiest thing to do. Case in point. So let's try that again. Okay, jump and get up there. This is where one of the only times where I'm gonna use this camera. Move. Where is it? Okay, it's right there. And grab the star. Here we go. Alright. Now we're gonna go for the eight red coins. And like, um, di uh, not die, die, but, um, Jolly Roger Bay. There's one mission uh, star we can't get yet because we need the Vanish Cap, and we don't get that for quite some, well, actually, no, we're gonna get the two remaining caps kind of pretty soon, actually. Like. You can get both of them in the second area, so... Yeah, it's not going to take too long for us to get those, but... We yeah, can't, get, can't get all the stars just yet, but... Soon we'll, we will get those caps, and we'll be able to go back for them. Back for these stars. So no worries. <coughs> I do kind of like this stage, though, because I just... It's not exactly as mazy as the 2D games. There are a lot of areas for sure, but um, it's nowhere near as mazy. Or, I guess a better way to say it would be puzzle. It's not as very puzzle heavy compared to, uh, what was it, uh, Mario, Mario World? What are you? Free at all? I can't remember. I don't think they were, were they? Oh. Yeah, either way. Alright, let's, let's get in here. Get a little. 
I like Boo's design in the other games, but this one they actually do kind of freak me out. Just, I, I don't know, it's weird to explain, but in the other games, like the modern games I should say, I think the Boo design is actually quite cute, but in this game, not so much. They actually kind of do their job. Which is funny, like, they're ghosts, so they should be terrifying, but in the other, in the, every, get, get post N64 games, I should say, that's a better way to put it, they really aren't terrifying at all. Big B, I don't want to do with you. Bye bye. Okay. Now you just have to go back to the actual mansion and deal with deal with the rest of the red coins there. So they got the atmosphere down really well. Like this actually feels haunted more so like Mario World's music for the haunted how not well I guess it's one way to call them haunted house levels but just the ghost levels in general like they did a really good job yeah there you go oh, scary a live piano don't eat me and all that yeah yeah uh, man but no, seriously, that actually did creep a lot of people out as a kid. Which, you know, makes sense. I mean, a piano trying to, that comes to life and trying to, that's trying to eat you, like, yeah, that would scare any uh, kid. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah, like the, uh, Haunted, the uh, ghost house levels in Mario World. Like, the music's good. Like, I like the music, but I don't think it really gave off a creepy atmosphere that much. This, though, this theme really go uh, tries to give off a creepy atmosphere, and it just goes home with it. You know? Like, it's just... It knows what it wants to be, it does it really well, and it's just really well composed. I don't, know, I don't know if Koji Kondo did this uh, theme, but wh whoever did it, excellent job. There we go. Here we go! Here we go! Oh no, I ain't falling. <laughs> that was way too close. Alright, now I just need to get the other coins. This is just, like, yeah, no, I don't... Again, why is that even a thing? Uh, no, I don't want to be here either. Right. Okay, is that the only coin? Yep. Okay. Take you out, why not? <laughs> Even though I already have a hundred coins, I may as well just do it. Oh! Alright. Where are the coins at, bruh? Okay, there's one more. Be like Harry Potter, but it doesn't really work out. <laughs> I mean, uh, more terror terrifying than the flying Harry Potter books for sure, because those, those guys generally don't go out to attack you. And the star should be here. Yep.
Yep. Okay, and... Okay, we can't get any of the other... Well, we can't get the other star. But before we leave, I just want to uh, just go here, point this out while we're up this, er this little area. So, this little statue here. You can't really, really see what it says. But a lot of people think, like to believe that it says the L is real. And has like a date on it. And people went crazy, like trying to figure out, like what it meant. Like, oh, it's Luigi in the game. Can I unlock unlock him? And, well, fun fact: Luigi was originally supposed to be in this game as like some kind of co-op feature, but I think it just didn't work out. Like hardware limitations were a massive factor in that, and they just couldn't get it to work in time. So, unfortunately, they had to scrap. Luigi being in the game, period, which really does suck, because in the other games, you had Luigi there, like, as, like, a second player option, and it's just kind of a shame that in the 3D games, we didn't really get to play as him until Galaxy 1. Wahaha! You stepped right into my trap, just as I, just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend, watch your step. <laughs> Bowser time! We are. I don't know what that last bit was, but it's fun doing a little over the top Bowser voice. <laughs> Just imagine, like, what kind of. Uh, the uh, voice director said to the Bowser voice actor in Sunshine, like, Make your voice go like this! I, I don't know. So. Bowser's a fun voice to do, but it's hard to not make it sound off. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't like saying bad, but it just, it's hard to make it actually sound like, like, an, like he would actually sound like that, if that makes sense. Because yeah, Sunshine was just like, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that, but... Well, anyways, in the first Bowser level, and just hear that iconic Bow uh, Cooper Road theme, which is really nice. Love, really love this theme, especially in Galaxy 2. And it's just, what can I say about it? That's not hasn't someone hasn't already said. Like, it's just really iconic, really catchy, and just fits the mood for the just upcoming battle and it's just really good what else can I say really and I need to stop saying really because really that's really getting uh, annoying so I really sh okay I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop everyone watching this video thank you yeah, I'm kidding Kind of scary trying to do tricks sometimes. Just how slippery Mario can be. And now we have to face Bowser. How you doing? I I just love how his mouth like oh, mouth is always like a little bit open. Like hey, tough luck Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Grahaha. Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. Wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. Ha! Oh man. It's weirdly fun to do that voice. And it's nowhere near as easy to do this with a classic controller. Because, yeah, it's not the best controller ever, but hey, it's gonna. gonna have to do. That failed epically. Yeah, look at him, like, row. I love Bowser. <gasps> like, especially in the 
RPG games. He's probably my favorite Mario character, period. Like, he's just so hilarious. Like, even in the 3D games sometimes. Like, Sunshine, Sunshine's like, How dare you disturb my family vacation! I, I love that. Hey? Oh, okay. Grrr! I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars and I still have Peach. Brah! You'll get no more stars from me! I'm not finished with you yet, but I would let you go for now. You'll pay for this. Later! Okay then. Yeah, originally coins were actually gonna burst out of Bowser, I believe. And you can actually see coins appear a little bit and then just disappear. And I don't know why they got rid of that. Well, it's probably because it's just pointless to get coins at that point. But you know, it's kind of an interesting thing uh, to know uh, to know about, I guess. So the more you know, blah, 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 blah. yeah, I don't know. <laughs> 